Hey YouTube, Santa Frank here today. Exciting. Got a uh, PSA return back today. I believe this is a sports card order. Um, they were having a sports card special. So I tried to take advantage and send in. Um, I sent in like two different orders of sports cards. So we'll see which ones these are. I did their TCG special also, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, there's the uh, paperwork right there. This is Modern Sports New Year Special. $14.99 per card grade, which nowadays is about the cheapest you can get um, modern sports cards graded right now from PSA. So, really good chance to uh, send in an order. I had some cards piling up to grade. I got this and a, this box too, by the way. It's not just that one little box. But we'll start with the small box. A 55 card order. <clears throat> Alright, first card. Victor Wimbanyama. So this is an Alan Ginter Mini. I love Alan Ginter Minis. Um, I love also how they look in these uh, PSA Mini slabs. They just look really nice, I think. Anyway. Um, I mean, it looks a little bit thick on the bottom. <clears throat> but this was my only mini that I got of Women Yama. He's having a really interesting year. Um, I will say, I could see this getting a, a 9. Maybe it might be a little thick on that side, too. Because of centering. Ah, Jim Mint 10. Okay. Good start. Got the gym mint on the Wimbenyama. All right, Roki. <clears throat> this is one of those World Baseball Classic cards. Um, back looks good. I remember, yeah, there's a little tiny little edge nick. Not really a nick, just like an imperfection on the edge. So I don't think this can get a 10. That corner down there is not super either. So, um, I don't think it can get a 10. I guess I, I can really hope. <laughs> For one, this is a... <clears throat> if you guys don't know Roki Sasaki, he is a, an amazing young pitcher. And um, he pitches in Japan. Um, it's going to be amazing um, to see him when he finally comes over to the U.S., Will he sign with the Dodgers? I think that's what uh, Shohei's plan is, to have Roki come to the Dodgers also. But, we'll see. Okay, did we get a 10? Ah, mint 9. Yeah, I can see how that got a 9. <clears throat> Alright, next, we have Shohei Otani. Um, the back looks good. Uh, this is the... Uh, Three home run, three game home run streak card. It doesn't have a rookie card symbol, but it is 2018 uh, tops. And I pulled this um, on a pack, on a pack, out of a pack from the baller box. So can we get a 10 on this? Yes, Jim Mint 10. Nice one there. The Shohei. I think there's a lot of Shohei Otanis in this order. All right, next. Um, back looks good. 2019 Bowman Platinum Shohei. I mean, to me, that looks like a 10. Oh, 9 on that one. It's hard to grade these uh, Bowman Platinum cards. Pretty tough grades. All right, another Shohei. Back looks good. Ah, this is the uh, 2021 Topps Heritage the Hot Box version. Uh, the Chrome card. These look really good. This I wasn't a big fan of the, this uh, 1972 Topps design of a card, but these Chromes look really nice, especially refractors. Um, can we please get a 10 on this? I don't know what that is. I think that's a little something inside the uh, card holder. 
All right, Jim Mint 10 on the Shohei Hotbox uh, Chrome card. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now for the big box. We'll uh, probably do this in two videos. So it'll be a part one and a part two. So we got a lot of cards in this order. Stack of slabs there. That's empty. All right, next card. Corbin Carroll, um, rookie of the year last year. Back of that. I don't know. It might be a little bit of white on that bottom corner there. Maybe. Ah, Bowman's best refractor, Corbin Carroll. I mean, that looks like a 10. Come on, let's get a 10 on this. Oh, 9. Okay. Well, can't win them all. So we're about 50-50 on 10s and 9s in this order. All right, there's another Corbin Carroll. Definitely uh, thicker on this side than this side on the back. Ah, uh, this is, yeah, definitely thicker over here than there. You can see that on the back as well. This is the uh, 92 by Randy Johnson. <laughs> um, this 92 Bowman style. <clears throat> the mini diamond parallel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to say this is probably a 9 because of centering. And there might be a little bit of a line there, but... That's just part of the uh, refractor pattern, I think. Okay, well. Oh, Jim Mint 10. Whoa. Man, that's pretty surprising that that, that got a 10. Because usually they take off for these. You can tell that's part of the... Uh, maybe that's why they didn't. Because the whole card is not... Many time, <clears throat> the image of the player is not... And this, you can tell that that's part of the graphics of the uh, refractor because that line does not go through the player there. So at least they looked at it close enough to, to tell that. Well, we got 10. That's pretty cool. We got Adley Rushman. Got a little bit of a uh, white corner down there. Shellacked. Oh, that's on the the uh, case. I'm going to say this is probably nine with that corner. Huh? Jim Mint 10. It must not be a ding. Maybe it's just a piece of uh, dust in there. All right, next card. Another Adley Rushman. Die cut. Real to real, I think these are called. Yeah, real, real to real at rookie Adley Rushman. Die cut. Um, that seems like it'd be an easy 10. Yep, Jim Mint 10 on that one. Alright, a good little stretch here. Alright, Corbin Carroll. Um, this was from a blaster box we opened on the channel of uh, Archives. Now, that, this is the only problem. It had a little tiny little white speck. But overall, really beautiful card. Corbin Carroll rookie. Centering looks perfect. Mm, yeah, centering looks really good. Um, I'm going to say 10. Oh, 9. Man, is, I really wish I would have got a, nine, a 10 on that. Beautiful card. Love that design. Like the 65 top style. Oh, right, we got Shohei. Die cut, reel to reel. There he is, the great Shohei Otani. Um, this is from Bowman's Best, by the way. I think that's a ten. Yep, Jim Mint ten. All right, next one. 
Ah, this is a Top Snow card. Top Snow cards are really high quality and usually grade very well. Got Yoshinobu, Yoshinobu Yamamoto. There's the back, looks good. And there is his free agent signing with the Dodgers card. Um, it looks like a 10. Yep, Jim Mint 10 on the Yamamoto. All right, the 10s are definitely doing very good so far. We've got Gunnar Henderson. This one's out of 199. Bowman's best card. Ah, uh, the nice uh, Aqua Lava. It does look pretty cool in that design. Um, rookie card, Gunnar Henderson. Uh, please let us, let us get a 10 on this. Come on. Yes, Jermit 10. That's a keeper. All right. And another Shohei. This one. Back looks good. There is a white mark there, though. I don't think that's part of the design of the card. 2019 Bones Best Shohei. That's on the uh, plastic. I'm um, say a 9 because of that edge. Ah, Jim Mint 10. I think we might have gotten a generous grader on this order. There's a couple been a couple of these tens that I wouldn't have guessed would have got tens by looking at them close. Um, another tops now, Yamamoto. I mean, it looks nice. Yep, Jim Mint 10 on that one. We've got an MVP card, Shohei Otani. Um, this definitely off center, thicker over here than over there. 2022 Archives, MVP Shohei. Now the centering looks good on the front, and I was interested to see how this looked uh, slab because of all this red with the red PSA label, and it does look really nice. Can we get a 10? Yes, Jim Mint 10. That's pretty sweet. I like that one. Wait, did we put... Or have these all been tens? Yeah. Wow, lots of tens this order. All right, this was a crack out. Now let me find my uh, my thing here. It's not Alan and Ginter. Ah, here it is. Tops now, 2017 Tops now, Shohei Otani um, off season. Back of that looks perfect. So first, we'll show what the old grade was. Originally, this was a PSA 9. I cracked it out and resent it. To me, it looks like a 10. I don't see any problems with it. But I'm not looking at it as closely as the PSA does. So let's see. Did it get the 10? Did it get upgraded? Oh, it stayed a 9. Well, darn. I don't know if I'll try it again. Um, we'll just probably just keep it as a 9. We already tried it, so didn't make it the second time. Okay, here's another Otani. This is a crack out, I think. Okay. So back looks good. This was originally a PSA 9, by the way. And I thought it looked like it should be a 10, so I tried it again. All right, that looks good. Move this. Let's All right, so originally a nine. It looks really nice. Um, 
I've gotten a lot of tins on these, so I, I looked at it compared to some other tins. Whoa! <laughs> Six! Oh, man. What in the world? That's stunning. I don't know what in the world happened. I mean, it looks like a PSA 10. Ugh. Well, that was a disaster. Hmm. I don't know. I have to look at that with like a light. Oh, six. <clears throat> that sucks. That throws me off here. All right. Next, we have Pete Alonzo. This is an autograph variation card from 2023 World Baseball Classic. Ah, look at that. This is the orange. Um, we uh, open this up on the channel. Looks really nice. This orange foil. Um, one out of 25. Can we get a 10? Come on. Even though it's a sticker auto. Can we still get a PSA 10? Yes, Jim Mint 10 on that one. That's cool. Man, that's a great looking card too. All right, that one's happy, happy. Ah, oh, another one of these Otani's. Boy, now I'm scared. Cause I'm pretty sure this was cracked out as well. Okay, here it is. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that other one was this tag. Because I cracked out an 8. I wonder if that one was an 8. I cracked out an 8 and a 9. So, um, let's see. I'm going to say this was a 9. Let's see. Back looks good. Front looks good, but I mean the other one looked just as good. Did we get a six on this one? Maybe when I cracked it out, I damaged it somehow. And I'm just not seeing where it got damaged. Because this is dangerous to crack out cards. You could damage them. So I try to do it very carefully. Ah, that one got upgraded to a 10. Now what is the difference between these two? Like I said, I gotta look at this much closer. We did get that one to go to a 10. All right. Next up, we got Aaron Judge, Refractor. Back looks nice. Uh, 2019 Bowman's Best, Aaron Judge, Refractor. I mean, that looks really nice. Um, I don't think these are hard to grade, so I'm gonna guess a 10. Yep, Jim Mint 10, there we go. Sent in a few judges. Here's another one. I think this is a refractor too. Back looks good. There he is. 2018 finest Aaron Judge refractor. Looks like a 10. Yep, Jim Mint 10. All right. Next one, Gunnar Henderson. Back looks good. It's got a little bit of that white. See, now I don't think that's a ding. I think that's just something in the holder. So I wouldn't have sent it in if it had a ding, a ding corner. Uh, Gunner Henderson shellacked. These shellac cards do look cool slabbed. I'll give them that. Um, can we get a 10 on this one? There we go. Jim Mint 10 on the shellacked rookie Gunner Henderson. Ah, Wyatt Langford. Definitely thin and thick here. So the centering is not good on this one. And uh, maybe even thick there and thin right there. Alright, just a uh, standard chrome. Now uh, the front centering looks good. But the back centering is not very good. So I'm going to say a 9 on this. Ah, Jim Mint 10. Sometimes they give you 
hardly any um, tolerance on uh, back centering. And sometimes they'll give you a whole bunch. So it just depends on the grader you get. So we got 10 on the Wyatt. That's nice. This was a crack out. Not that one. Here it is. Okay, so this is a Shohei Otani. Um, oh, this is a World Baseball Classic. Never mind. World Baseball Classic. Now, I bought two of these. One of them had a little um, defect on it. And the other one was minty. So I wonder if this is the one with the little defect. This is the great, famous, yes, has a little thumbnail mark. Now, what I mean by thumbnail mark, you can kind of see it right there. It's kind of like an indention. So I was kind of upset when I got this because I did not know it had this little thumb, thumbnail, fingernail mark on it. But I went ahead and sent it in anyway. I, w I bought another one later, and it looked very clean. So I sent that one in on a different order. So I'm guessing this probably got six because of that uh, fingernail mark on it. And I wouldn't have sent it in, but I was waiting on this card to finish my order. And I already put it on my um, order form, so I had to send it in no matter what. And um, unfortunately, it did have a mark. Eight. Wow, I can't believe it got an eight with that that mark on there. Hmm. To me, that's an indention. And an indention usually means you're going to get a six at, as the best. So, surprisingly, that got an eight. Okay. Actually, we're going to stop there. Good stopping point.